It's been 10 years since I've been making music under the name Earth Eater. And when I started, it was primarily just acoustic guitar. My journey led me through many different explorations, through noise and electronics and beats and different collaborations and to the point where I even rejected the guitar and almost hardly used acoustic sounds. After all the things I've learned traveling and touring, I suddenly realized that I was coming back around. The space really allowed me to feel many, many things and write some of the most complex lyrics, but that yet ring quite simple. And this is something that I don't think I was ever able to achieve beforehand. The reverb chamber and the 24 access to a studio right below where I slept. So I could finally have the time and the space to come back to acoustic sound and enter a very lucid state of exploration and also romance, just romance with the instrument itself. I started to write Phoenix and it made sense to write an album about rebirth and also death. The end of things obviously implies a new beginning and a new beginning also implies a closing of things. So the phoenix is the perfect symbol of that um, resurrection. To be able to collaborate with a quartet of such beautiful players and to inspire them and to also then be inspired by them and then create some of the most romantic and emotional chamber arrangements, that's a dream come true. Acoustic sound is often associated with the past, but I choose to see it as also a very important tool for the post-apocalyptic future. I spent much time with my friend Mario and my friend Yosu on Mario's farm playing with the baby goats. And the baby goats became a symbol in the record because when the phoenix comes back to life and is symbolic of rebirth, I like thinking about the baby goat as this incredible creature that knows exactly what to do when they're born. They stand to their feet very quickly 
and within a few hours they're hopping and skipping and jumping sure-footedly. You want to hold on to the life of a movement, the life of an idea, as long as you can reap everything from it, as long as you learn everything from it. But as soon as it doesn't serve you and as soon as its rigidness holds you back from the evolution and growth beyond one's own perception, it's important to submit to the sacrifice of letting it go. Yeah, of